Hello everybody, this is Duck back here on Duck's World and it's been a while, but I'm hoping today's episode there will be a lot done today. So if we're ready, we're going to go ahead and get started right off the bat. And the first thing that we need to do today is we need to finish this wool farm that we started in the last episode. I know I'm not anywhere near it right now, but I'm on my way over. Um, and we are going to get this wool, fun, wool farm done and dusted. Now, it, I think that I just need to breed more sheep, and then I need to actually get the redstone ready. And I think I have the redstone over here ready to go. But we do have a couple sheep, and that's what we'll start off with today. And then we might be able to even start work on a new project. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and start working. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually get set up um, how many of these... Uh, modules will actually have for wool um, because I don't need an absolute freight train ton of them but I do want a few so I'm gonna try my best to make a bunch because this is a starter farm as much as much as I wish it wasn't this is going to be a starter farm I'll have a big one in the mega base that'll have a lot more colors I just need the basic uh, wool variants so that I will be able to trade and that is kind of what I really need at the moment. So I need more dispensers. I'm pretty sure I've got some in here. Where are my dispensers? Because I am blind like none other. I am not seeing dispensers. So, oh, there they are. I'm just blind. So we're going to place some down. And um, like I said, it's going to mostly just be tradable um, wool types. So I'll probably have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and white, and black. And I think that'll be all of the wool variants that i'll need at the moment um i'm just i just got to start breeding them up so that we have enough start breeding the sheep up rather so that we have enough enough sheep to be able to do what we need to do and i'm not sure that i needed to spawn proof them with their uh, name tags but i did um but what we do need now is we need dirt right here for all of these and then unfortunately i think i actually have to rip up part of the floor because the grass needs to be able to spread. So I'm pretty sure that means that I need to have dirt all the way across here so that we actually can spread grass back. Oh, and I fell in with the sheep because I suck at this. Come on, out, 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 out. There we go. All right, cool. Um, but as I was saying, because I actually, I think I need to actually have the grass be able to spread across here, I think that I'm actually going to need some of this floor to be to be dirt unfortunately um but if we do this i don't need the birch wood at the moment now what we need to do is we need to run these observers underneath and it's just every other one and it stops here okay i can do that so if we do that and then every other one i left the observers up there well shoot um let's just let's just uh pillar back up with dirt don't need to worry about a whole lot right now i need observers so we're going to grab these observers and then we are going to work our way back down here yeah this is what we need all right and it's every other one from here so let's just do this and we'll just look up and then it's every other one look up here and then it's every other look at this one here and i think that's all of them cool and then what we need to do is we need to run a redstone line underneath. And I don't have any redstone on me because, of course, why would I be organized? Um, so I need redstone from here. And I don't have enough. I know I don't. But if we run that underneath, we should have enough to at least connect some of them. So if I do that, that's not, that's too low. So what I actually need is I actually need a... I need a redstone line underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I need these actually here. And my apologies for really being disorganized in this episode so far. Um, I've not actually been on Minecraft in a long time. So I am, I'm kind of working, I'm working, uh, working myself back into the groove of things. I've not been here in a significant amount of time. I just need a couple more redstone dust to run the circuit because i think one one of these fires i think i want all of them to fire because grass grows so slowly that i'm just going to try to take advantage of any instance i get um of of the dispensers being able to fire with shears but i need redstone here and as i was saying yeah i do, do apologize for the lack of professionalism 
Um, I've just I've been so busy with uh, college final exams and all the other stuff that um, I haven't been able to actually implement the uh, change to the really to the, the change to the content that I'd like to. I mean, I had a big video explaining what I've wanted to do with the change of content. And I really haven't been able to implement that because I've been busy. And honestly, probably it won't. My changes won't be fully realized and fully developed until probably in the fall because I'll be really busy this summer as well with uh, jobs and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure that uh, my greatest intentions of changing my content probably won't happen for a while. So I apologize for that. But once we run this here, we'll connect this up. Um, and this is actually facing the wrong way because, of course, it needs to be facing there. All right. And then we need to run redstone lines up and out. Up and out into the other to the dispensers up up top so I'm gonna run them I'm gonna run them like this it doesn't look good I know it doesn't but it'll at least get the job done because this is a starter farm after all it's not going to look great because um, frankly I'm the one building it and nothing I build with redstone looks great on its first try um, we'll pull up this for the time being and then if we run the redstone out and across like this and then we update this block. Does it did it detect it or no? It didn't detect it. Why didn't it detect the change? Because I should be able I should be able to place something here and it detect a change. Why did why isn't it doing it? Um what's the problem here? Get rid of these. These sheep are getting really annoying. Um but why can't I detect a change? Because the the output is faced here like it should be. So theoretically, I should be able just to update that and then that runs. Do I need a redstone torch? I might need to do some red, redstone torch action here, I think. But that's a problem that I'll have to do here in a second. I'm going to figure out what's going on here. And um, because I don't want to bore you any more than I already am, um, I'll figure out what the problem is and then I'll be right back and we'll continue building this farm. All right, so it just turns out I'm an idiot because if I change if I change this block here, I'm getting I'm getting inputs and outputs. I'm just being stupid. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that's all that I really need to worry about now. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to worry about collection because right now, if if the sheep uh, if the sheep eat here and they detect uh, and the and this detects it and shears it. Right now, the, the wool is just dropping on the ground, and I need to fix that. And the only thing that I can think to fix that is to put minecart hop, or yeah, mine, hopper minecarts here in between each one, um, and then on the end here. I think that'll do it, um, which means that I need to go ahead and I, I need to go ahead and make a bunch of hopper minecarts. But I think I pull, place one here. I think I place one in between each one. So if I do here, here, here and then one here by these sheep i think that we will have what we need um i just need to get a bunch of rails a bunch of hopper minecarts and all of that to be able to do that well so we're going to go over here and do that and run back around turn around and we're going to craft a bunch of hopper minecarts um and i know i don't have a bunch i mean i've, I've got one minecart that's all i got um, so I know I need a bunch of iron. I'm in the wrong direction for the iron farm. Sorry about that. We'll go over here. We'll make a bunch of hopper minecarts, and then we will continue. Um, and I think that that'll probably do all that we need to do um, to go ahead and get this farm operational. And then we might even still have time during the day um, today to be able to actually build ourselves that building as well. Um, so we need iron, and we'll do that as well. We'll be able to build the building that this farm is farm is from as well um where's my iron there's my iron that should be enough climb up the ladders get ourselves out of here and hopefully we'll be able to start doing more farms like this in the mega base pretty soon right now we aren't we are i'm not i'm not uh i'm not equipped adequ adequately to be able to do that just because well frankly i don't have the base built and i need the mega base built before i can build farms but for the time being, we are, uh, I'm just kind of laying low and trying to figure out what 
in particular we need to do to get those farms started. Um, I do need a crafting table, which of all the things that you'd think I would have on me, I don't even have a crafting table, which is really annoying. What's also really annoying is this terrible inventory management. So I'm going to get rid of some of this. I'll need that minecart. Get rid of that and that and that and the stone and the egg. And for the time being, I think that we can get rid of the ferns. I don't even know why I have the ferns on me, but I don't even have... I don't even have a crafting table, and that is ridiculous. I am 102, I believe, episodes into this series, and I don't even have a crafting table in my inventory at all times, which is incredibly embarrassing. But we'll place that down, and we should be able to make some mine carts. And I think it was one, I think it was like four, five, two, three, four, and that'll make five. And then I need to make hoppers and i don't think i have the wood for that i don't have the wood for that let's quickly chop down this tree right here and fly into the water because of course i can use an elytra well we'll go ahead and take this up here build some chests so that we can make hoppers and then we'll sleep and then we'll actually act get this uh this collection system started i am running so slow and i apologize for that i'm also getting lost because there's no building up yet for this uh for this farm but let's go ahead and make some chests so we'll do that do that make a bunch and by a bunch i mean two because i don't have enough wood for a bunch but we can also make another one with the perch and so we should be able to make three hoppers i believe and i don't remember how to do that there we go yep we can make three hoppers and then we can put a hopper and a minecart one hopper minecart, two hopper minecarts, and three hopper minecarts. All right, cool. So all we'll need is more hopper minecarts and more rails. Cool, cool, cool. I am starting to get the hang of what I need to do. Let us sleep, and then we will continue on our adventure to get a little bit more of this farm done. And I'm sorry that it's slow again, but I hope that it's at least entertaining and fun, um, and please let me know in the comment section if there's a more efficient way to do this. I am doing this sheep farm. Really? It's going to rain? Why is it always raining? That's stupid. Um, but I'm kind of doing this by ear. Um, I am I'm running... I don't know how to make rails. That is, that is embarrassing. Um, I need sticks. Funny enough, you'd need sticks for that. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of running this uh, project without Googling anything and trying to figure out how to make these, which is great because I'll be learning how to do stuff. But at the same time, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment, which makes things slow. So my apologies for that as well. But we are going to try our best here. And I only need, I don't need even 16, but we'll work with what we've got. So we got one. Actually, that's not where that needs to go. I need one to go there. I need one to go. And then I need one to go right above here. So do I have any dirt on me or did I take care of it? I took care of it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll throw the terracotta back down. Might as well use the blocks I have. And we'll need one here. And we'll need one here. And we'll need one here. And then we'll need one. Move. Move, sheep. We'll need one. We'll need one right here, I believe. Yep. So we'll need one one underneath there. But we won't worry about that now because the sheep will not move. They will not be cooperative with me for now. Um, so hopper minecart. And then hopper minecart. And then hopper minecart. All right. So there's at least a couple of them. Now, the problem is, is I'm going to have to get the uh, sheep trapped here. Because I think that they will want to walk here. So I'll need to put glass on top of these. Or carpet. I might I might put carpet on top of them. Um, and I also need to get... It looks like two more hopper minecarts. So I need two more. I need two more hoppers. I can I can work with that. But that is, that is the progress that we are making. We are getting close. Um, we are getting closer. So I'm going to go grab stuff to make hoppers. I'll grab some more materials so that we don't have to keep running back to this starter base. And then we will finish up this project.
All right, so we are back. I have two more Hopper Mine Carts that I've crafted um, with with the materials I had before. So we should be able to run one more Hopper Mine Cart there. And then I just need these sheep to move a little bit more. Oh, this is your problem. You can't move because you're trying to stand up there. Come on, move. Move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. There you go. Perfect. So now I can do this. I can stop auto jumping because I don't know why Minecraft likes to implement that. Down. Down, sheep. Down. Good. Nope. Nope. Down. There you go. Cool. All right. So there we go. We have we have some of the hopper minecarts down. I want to put one more module in at some point, but I don't think I need it now. So now the thing is, is now I've got to get these sheep to stay in one spot. And I think the only way I can do that is with glass. Um, and I don't think I have any glass with me. Oh, I do have glass with me. I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. Let's go. So I should be able to place one there. There. One, two, three, and four. And then theoretically, it's just a matter of doing this number. Like that, and then just getting the sheep to sit in that spot. I think I can do that. I think that is something that I can do. But... The thing is, is I'm going to be so frustrated that I think I'm going to build them up. And I think I'm just going to, like, destroy this block, walk them in, block them in, and then get out. I think that's how I'm going to implement this. So I'm going to need this block gone. Like so. And then I think that it just would be as simple as just trapping them. Like so. Or you're going to walk right in. Nope. Down. 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 All right. Where's the wheat? Where's the wheat? Where's the wheat? Where's the wheat? There's the wheat. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this first sheep in. Come on, buddy. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. Walk with me. Thank you. Thank you. Walk. Walk in here. Walk in here, please. Oh, I see the error of my ways. Oh no. Now they're all following me all at once. That's a problem. Fall back down, guys. Fall, please. Fall, please. Thank you. Cool. That worked out well, actually. All right. Give me a second. I'll get them all put in there. And then we will continue with these sheep after I get these all, guys all in here and really probably, let's be honest, go through a whole lot of frustration is what's going to happen here. But we'll be making some progress. So give me a second. Let me get these sheep in here. Probably have to tear up this entire redstone mine, honestly. Um, and then we will continue probably with dying them next. All right. So after a lot of time, a lot of heartaches and a trigger finger with a certain sword, I was able to get enough sheep in here. Um, I did end up killing a bunch of them because they're getting annoying and they just would not, would not leave me alone, um, to do what I needed to do. Cause when, when you have wolf, wool, not wool. If you have wheat for one of them, they all want to flock. So I just ended up putting them in one at a time and lured more from that hill over there to put in here. And then I ended up with only four. And I think for now that'll be fine because I'm using the wool for redstone circuits. And four colors is probably enough for now, honestly. So I think I'm going to do white, black, and then probably a red or an orange. And then either a light blue or... A dark blue of some sort so i'll go white black red and blue and i think that'll be good for now the only problem that i can ran into is while i was trying to troubleshoot some stuff i realized that i need to have grass that can spread all over the place and at the present moment uh grass really can't spread where it needs to spread so i need to combat this problem and the only way i can think of doing that is to place dirt in between each one of them i'm wanting to see if the grass will still spread first because ideally that would be what i'd like to happen so if i can just pull up some of this floor because i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the storage for this building outside of it so that i don't have to come in here because this is gonna probably be what it looks like and it looks terrible but if i can get the grass to actually spread across we won't have a problem with that is is at least the thought is that we won't have problems with the grass spreading if the floor is all ripped up and i've got walls above the building then it doesn't need to it doesn't need to look good um i do need to escape because you know i suck um so 
I think that we're at the phase where I need to get a bunch of iron for shears. Um, and then probably we'll figure out this grass problem. And then from there, it looks like it's just a matter of building a building because we're getting close, really, really close. So the funny thing about me is I'm an idiot and I placed hopper minecarts down and I don't even have hopper outputs out of there yet. So what I just have done is I've just successfully wasted my time. And I need to get these, I need to get these uh, hopper minecarts fixed with an output because right now we just have we just have wool that can go into these minecarts and we don't have any way to collect them into a storage system. So I'm gonna resolve that problem now before I actually go too much further because I really need I really need uh I really need my storage system to work. So what actually needs to happen is I actually need to pull out these these hopper minecarts actually and place down proper hoppers first. So I'm gonna grab these, grab these, grab that, and yep, and then I need to grab this one here as well. And from there, let's let's throw down some hoppers, which I don't have on me because I've crafted them all into hopper minecarts. Well, shoot. Well, I'll be back. Um, and then we'll solve my problem. Um, and then from there, we should be able to just get a storage system built and then only have to uh, build a building, I think, and die sheep. But we're, we're making some progress. As slow and as stupid as it is because of myself, we are making some progress. All right, this looks a little bit nicer. Is it unnecessarily complicated? Yes. Is it a waste of iron? Yes. Does it do its job? I don't know, but we'll see soon. Um, I do need to pull out some more of this these gla glass blocks because I didn't place stuff at its proper height. So I have to fix that now. But if I do that and I do... Oh, that's actually where it belongs. Cool. Um, and then I need the hopper minecart again because I don't know how these actually work, which is a problem. I need to do that over here as well. But if I just do this and break this one as well and then hopper minecart right here on top actually i need a rail first then a hopper minecart there that should fix that one cool now we should be good wow that was unnecessarily complicated okay cool so now all we need to do is we need to localize the storage so that it's not just several hoppers um and i think that the easiest way to do that is just more iron and just run a hopper line i only have two hoppers here but if we just run hoppers like this actually that's not what i want to want to do if we just run hoppers out and then up we should be good i might even just have an entrance just into storage that might be that might be the way to go is maybe we don't push the storage out here outside of the building but we just have an entrance to the building that has storage right there. That might be what I do. But I need a lot more iron for these hoppers. So let's quickly run and grab some more iron from my iron farm that I am going to say now after the amount of iron that I've pulled from this episode. I can totally fly with an elytra. I totally can. And it definitely isn't because I'm trying to render a video and it's laggy. Um, but besides that, never mind. Um, I... I uh, I've noticed that from the amount of iron that I've been pulling, I'm pretty sure that my iron farm is broken. Um, and in fact, let's check that real quick. Um, because if it is, we might have to work on that in the next coming episodes. But it seems that um, upon updating my world, I've lost, I've lost my zombie. I have lost my zombie. He's gone. These villagers are chilling. They're not worrying about anything. And that's not how that's supposed to be. Um, so we might have to work on an iron farm here in not too long, unfortunately. Um, but that is not the problem for now. The problem for now is we need hoppers. And to do that, we need a whole lot more wood. So let's quickly run. And let's deforest this island real quick. Because that's what we like to do here. We like to ruin the ecosystem. So let's chop down some trees real quickly. That's one tree gone. That's two trees gone. There's a tree in here. You can't you can't be sneaky. You can't hide from me. I'm tearing you all down. 
We'll take this one here. That's a third tree down, like so. And maybe I won't take all of these trees because I don't need that much wood. But there's another tree down. And I definitely will be making a wood farm. Um, that's one thing that I'm noticing I need to do is I need to make an automatic wood farm. Probably one that uses TNT to, um, to explode or blow things up. Um, because I just, I just know I need it. I don't need the apple. I've been carrying the apple all episode. I don't need it. We're going to fly up here, spin ourselves around back over by our crafting table. Like so. Right by the sheep. And let's build some more hoppers. And so to do that, we'll need more wood. And then we'll need a bunch of chests. And then we will need a bunch of iron. And I don't think that, I honestly don't think that this is enough um i don't think this is enough hoppers 10 um probably not but we'll see what we can do all right so where do i want this output um i think the output probably should be honestly it should be down down here as much as i don't want it to be it probably should be because that saves some iron um on my hoppers so we'll need to we'll need to get rid of this a little bit there, this space should be this space should be enough. And this won't this won't be seen much. Did I just break redstone line? No? Okay, good. This won't be seen, so it doesn't need to look super super fancy. Oh honestly. Um, I'm gonna shove this anvil down just be, so it's out of my way. And from here, I think that I just need to start placing hoppers. But I need a chest before I can do that. So let's go run and grab a chest from up here. Come on, craft a chest. And then we'll start working on this storage system. And while we're up here, I'll craft a double chest and we'll, uh, we'll make six more hoppers while we're here, just in case. Cause I, I always need hoppers. It's not like it's, it's not like a, it's a crazy thing to need. So, here will be our output. Where do we want our output? We've got it centered. We will put it right here. And we'll put this torch over here. So in order to get the hopper line, we'll do one, two, one, two. And then we need one from down here, one from down here. Oh, I can't. I can't because, oh yeah, because uh, I've got redstone lines there. So these all need to come out. So I need to run this out from here. Okay, cool. I can do that. One, two. So I'm definitely going to need more because I've only got nine left. But if I, if I do this right, I should be able to run hoppers across here. Boom. Boom. And across here boom boom and then i just need to be able to hit these hoppers so because i have no space this is going to be interesting um oh it's actually sleep i'm running out of daylight and i can't see well and um i need to sleep because i also don't want to deal with mobs because mobs are just terrifying in general so let's go ahead and grab some shut eye real quick and from there we should be able to continue and honestly i don't know how i want to run i don't know how i want to run this hopper line because i'm in a confined space that i didn't design well and you escaped you escaped from me you know what happens to escapees they die goodbye um but as i was saying i don't know that i don't know how to run this hopper line this is very inefficient, and I know that. But I need to run the hoppers up one. I need to just take care of... Rip this all out. I'll, I'll, I'll redo this in the building anyways. This needs to go. Um, this needs to stay because redstone. But actually, this is probably a problem. Honestly, I think that hopper just stays. I don't think I, I, don't think I connect to that hopper because... I don't want to pull up this redstone. Um, but I think if I do this right, we do a hopper like that, and then a hopper up, which I can't do. I th 
think that that actually is where a sheep sits. Oh no, this isn't. I can remove that. But if I just do that and do hopper, hopper up, and then I need to somehow get this hopper across. Need to bring it down. I can't because of the redstone line. Shoot. But if I do one more up, that's not what I want to do. If I do one more up like that, that's not going to do me any good. Okay. So how do I want to solve this problem? Um, I can't do... Actually, if I place... If I do this... And then I come back around here. Can I place this hopper so that it feeds right into this hopper? So if I do, boom, does that work that way? No, it needs to be down one further. Like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. So if I do that and then get rid of this hopper, it won't feed in. No, it won't feed in. I'm stupid. How do I, how do I get this hopper line to work? So it's coming down, and I need it to come across, but I can't make it come across unless I pull unless I pull it out and just make it come across right at the top. That's what I need to do. I know what I need to do now. I just need it to come across right here, actually. So I need to do this. And I need to actually bring this across right here. So if I break these, move back one more. And I don't have any more hoppers because I don't have enough resources. But if I do that, that's probably what I need to do. If I run a hopper line like that, that'll work. All right, now I need to go around because I designed this so incredibly poorly. All right, cool. So if I get rid of these, now the hoppers will run, if I get rid of this one, now the hopper will run into here. There we go. Is that efficient use of iron? Not at all. Do I need a bunch more hoppers? Yes. Will it work? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But then we need the hopper minecart here to bridge the little bit of depth that we don't have. That is the wrong thing. Get rid of that. Where'd the hopper minecart go? Oh, there it is. So if we do that, and then there we go. That should work. That looks ugly. That is terrible redstone. That is terrible redstone. And I need to fix them all. That's a, going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. I need a lot more hoppers. A lot more. Which means that I'm going to go craft a bunch. I need to find a better use of wood. Um, but I'm going to go get a bunch more hoppers. And then we'll fix this problem that I have caused. Because I don't know what I'm doing, I guess. So after a lot of work, I think that I've actually got it functioning. This is an engineer's nightmare, and I'll show you what I mean here in like half a second. Um, this is so inefficient and so badly done, but it works right now. It works. But this is the iron monstrosity that we have going on right here with these hoppers. It looks terrible, and I know it does, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but it works. We've got something that pseudo exists and has a meaning and a reason to to be here so we're gonna leave it for now that does mean that um since we're gonna leave it now it does work i've checked it the hoppers all run as they need to into this into this chest but that does mean that um because we're leaving it we actually honestly i think that we've ran out of time i wanted to get this building done but instead i realized that i don't know what i'm doing i honestly don't um one thing that we are going to do real quick before we head off is I am going to, if I can figure out how to use my elytra, I am going to dye the sheep. Um, and we will we will be ready to uh, actually get this building built in the next episode. So I'm already gearing up for that, and I'm ready and excited. Um, 
but I do apologize for this episode. Number one, it's long because I haven't been I haven't been prepared um, very easily, very well. Um, because I mean, honestly, I've not I've not been able to record a video in quite some time, so I apologize for that. Um, but other than that, I think that it's just it's just uh, I didn't know what I was doing today. And I apologize for that. I'm going to be a little bit better, hopefully, about doing some research before I actually decide to build build a farm. Um, and I say that with every intention of doing a prismarine farm here in a little bit. So I'll let you know how that research goes. And maybe we'll have something ready. Maybe we won't. We'll just have to see. But I'm looking for dyes. And I'm struggling to find them. So I am thinking we might have to go out and find some flowers. And we also might have to murder a squid or four. Um, but at the time being, I've got the I've got the lapis, which I can make right into blue dye. So I've got the blue done at least. And I only need a red. There's got to be... I can just grab a poppy. I don't know what I'm doing. Grabbing a poppy is easy. The rest the rest of the sheep are white and black. Well, I need, I need a squid for that. Um, here's a poppy. Pull up the poppy. Find places in the inventory for the poppy. Like so. Red dye. Perfect. And then we just need to murder a squid. But we'll save the murder for the next episode. I've done enough murder in this one. So... Let's go and we'll die two of the sheep. And then we will call it red and blue. And these all this work for redstone lines. But it'll 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 be worth it. Trust me. It'll be worth it. But that's gonna be all for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching um and sticking it out with me i know this was a disaster of an episode in terms of getting stuff done but we did get the the mechanics of the sheep farm done um it just will be some time before the building gets built but um i do hope that it was enjoyable oop i fell down nonetheless and until next time god bless we'll see you guys later and any feedback that you have i'd love to hear it thank you guys so much and um until next time be smarter than duck because clearly, as today's episode showed, it's not that hard to be smarter than me. But until then, adios, God bless, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you, adios.